Hi, welcome to another short video. This is going to be basically a quick intro on how to use flows. Uh, I'm going to be working with the opportunity ID. So basically what, um, what we're going to be doing is, let's assume we have an opportunity right here. And we want to make sure that, let's say when we change, a, you know, we change one of the records, what it would do is it would go ahead and it'll fire an update or it'll do an action, you know, specific to this record. So in other words, you know, let's assume you want to change one of the fields and you want that field to trigger a flow, which would go ahead and change a different field or do something within this record. This is just very simple. Obviously, they can do it themselves, but I mean, let's assume this is how we want to do it. Um, in our scenario, let's assume we want to change. Let's assume we want to make sure that, you know, if the type of the customer is new customer, we would go ahead and we can um, do a different update and we can uh, maybe change a different field like delivery installation and we can set that to uh, in progress. So basically, if the customer is new, then it would go ahead and it would change the record to um, the field in the delivery to in progress, right? This is something obviously very basic and simple just to give you an understanding how it kind of works. So let's just jump right in. Let's go into our flows. Create a flow, top right corner. We're gonna go to new flow. Obviously this is a new org, everything is random. So, you know, yours is gonna be a little bit different. So in our scenario right here, there's a bunch of options. So for us, because we're working on the same page, um, if we had a screen flow, then we can actually set that screen flow here. We can even create a little bit of a, you know, button they can click and it would fire that screen flow. But we don't want to do a screen flow. Maybe we just want to go ahead and set, um, you know, a record to just do everything in the background. Uh, in our case, we're going to go with the uh, record triggered flow. And we're just going to go create. <coughs> All right. In this, uh, you know, in this configuration window. So where do we want this flow to basically go ahead and fire? So we want in our opportunity um, object. So we want the opportunity, the all opportunity records to basically go undergo this process. Uh, when do we want it to occur? Well, we can do it created, uh, updated time, created or updated, or we can even do deleted. Uh, for our scenario, we're just going to go create it or update it. That way, you know, we can even test it out. So over here, once well, once we select this, we have the, you know, the entry criteria. The entry criteria, you know, gives us a bit of a selection here. It's basically um, what is it that causes that flow to run? So what causes that flow to run is, you know, our selection of changing, let's say, the type or whenever we change this and we save it, that's what's going to be firing. So we want it to be based on our field of type. That's what's going to be the criteria. So we can always go ahead and we can do uh, any condition. So if any condition is basically met, right? So if the field, uh, let's say we have multiple things over here, maybe the date or, you know, maybe the account name, whatever it is, stage even. So if we want multiple fields, we could go ahead and we can select uh, any condition is met and we can set up conditions, right? So one or the other. Um, if we wanted to do custom, we could do formulas even, but in our scenario, we're just gonna do the one. Um, this is an end statement. So in other words, if we had multiples, you can see just end. So it has to be more like, so if you have two or three like uh, fields, then they all have to be met in order for this uh, flow to run. So in our scenario, we're just going to go type. Type is equal to, and we're going to see the values. So the values is we got globals and we got the pick list. The pick list is, it automatically basically shows you what your selection would be here. Because, you know, it's under our object, right? Uh, sorry, the object is opportunity, right? The field is type that we selected and we can select different scenarios. So if we want, it's changed even, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's assume if our field is changed. So in other words, if we had already, let's say existing customer and we can confirm with the globals that it is changed. So yes, true. 
what it would do is this would go ahead and fire the flow but because we're dealing with uh, you know created or updated we can uh, we can skip on that and we can just say we want it only to occur when one scenario that we want and that is when it's a new customer so we'd click here and we'll go ahead to a new customer so when when we do select that okay it says when when do you want the you know when do you want the record to basically go ahead and fire um, and we want it to basically to work every time you know that is you know updated or it meets the conditions um, that's what uh, I wanted to basically do so every time I wanted to do that specific uh, you know I wanted to fire this flow so we can go ahead and leave it at that but if you wanted to just you know only when the record is updated to meet the conditions then we uh, we, we could go ahead and leave it at that but I don't want that I just want it every time to run because I also kind of want to test it around as I'm doing it um, optimizing the flow okay so you have the actions and you also have the fast so actions is going to be uh, basically after so once we click save then what it will do is go ahead and fire the flow uh, this will give us a little bit more components and uh, you know things to play with as we're you know setting up our whole flow um, but if you want something a little bit more performance so something as simple as this I wouldn't suggest going with the actions but we're gonna go with the pre flow so if we go to with the fast field so before you even do the whole you know um, saving process it's already gonna be running in the background it's gonna give us a little bit less obviously components which I'll show you but um, for our specific scenario we'll go with uh, you know to fire before before it is saved <clears throat> so once we did do that we are set to our canvas basically um, I usually like to set my um, you know my canvas to freeform I can move anything anywhere that I want but uh, everybody's a little bit different especially when you have a lot of stuff everywhere uh, the freeform is much nicer so just go ahead and you could already kind of save this so let's say um, you know, update opportunity field uh, you want to make it basically you want to put you want to put descriptions and everything according to what you're doing but for our scenario uh, I'm just going through it quick so I'm gonna skip on that okay so obviously we don't have anything set so we'll just skip on that too so what's going to what's going to be occurring right now we need to make sure that when we when we are actually doing these you know doing the when the flow is fired uh it has to take the records information so we need to get the id and we have to match the two ids making sure that the record that we're actually working with this mobile generators um is the right one and doesn't do the you know it doesn't go ahead and change the other records as well so it has to be specific to this uh, account id in order to do that we'll, we'll either way we'd go ahead and we'd get the records so um their records on opportunity we go ahead and we would uh, get the records on the object so the object is our opportunity object so Opportunity. Obviously, if you want to get the records on some other opportunity, let's assume we want to get records on leads, we can go ahead and do that too, or even cases. So let's say if we say cases, uh, what would do it would populate our, um, you know, the fields based on our cases. Uh, even if we did leads, it, po it will populate based on our leads. But in our scenario, it's only going to be on the same page. That we're working with so we're just going to be um, basing it on our opportunity object afterwards it's similar to what we were doing earlier it's basically what conditions are met any condition all conditions um, we're working with the one condition and the one condition is the type and the type has to be equal to new customer so what we would do is we would actually go ahead and we would find because we're getting the records so we would find the account id right because we want to get the records only specifically to this account id for this type right so the account id would go ahead and retrieve 
and that would be equal to our um, these are our global values so what we came into this flow with and we would go ahead and we can go record record opportunity as you can see because we're working opportunity account ID and then uh, we would go ahead and we would get the actual um, ID so here we go ID so we're gonna go ahead and we'll retrieve that specific ID so when we do a change it's just going to be changing this so it, what it would do is uh, it would automatically go ahead and save so if I cancel that we should have empty and new customer that's fine um, sort sort is not really important to us uh, it doesn't really matter but you know if you want to go from ascending to descending so depending you know some scenarios you may want to use that um, you know some areas you want to maybe do changes before others as it goes through but uh, for our scenario it doesn't really matter which sort uh, records to store okay so if we are dealing with more than one record then we would go ahead let's say in our opportunity maybe we want to do all the records in our opportunity then we would go ahead and we'd get uh, all records within that opportunity right um, but we're not dealing with that we're just dealing specifically only with that one record um, so what we're just gonna do is we want the record um, the first record that comes up uh, we also wanted to store that information automatically so we can actually go ahead and do you know we can set it to variables we can assign it to variables ourselves we can you know we can go ahead and we can do the rest but um, in our scenario we're just gonna let Salesforce do you know all, do all that hard work for us so it's just gonna take all that information it's gonna store it imagine in like a little box and then we'll be able to pull it out of that box and then look at the records so in this case one record so let's click that let's connect right let's connect the you know the flow uh, afterwards what do we want it to do okay so right now let's assume now we got the record okay imagine that this record exists in our flow at the moment our flow is looking at this record what do you want it to do All right so what do you, what we wanted to do is we wanted to do an update right so because we wanted it to update the delivery to um, in progress or right? right so we would go ahead and do update record and we'll go ahead put a description also keep in mind um, I know it shows you you know you might have some options here but if because we are you know because this flow is going to be running before the save we won't be able to go ahead and select these options so if you're dealing with let's say if we want to you know deal with something bigger like different components and whatnot then we would click you know action based flow and then this these options would be available so if we had collection of assignments and whatnot then we could like let's say the IDs and we'd work off that but uh, that's we'll keep that for another video so we'll just keep it all simple <clears throat> set the uh, filter conditions so uh, you know what conditions to update the record we'll just leave everything as is um, you know but we can go ahead and again the same same thought process as we go along with like, what would be the conditions uh, but we already have it all set up so we don't really need to go ahead and do anything here uh, the fields of the opportunity so now this is the part where it's we're basically assigning um, what we wanted to do so what do we want it to do once uh you know once it gets to that stage okay so the record is saved there the flow is looking at the record it's saying okay so what am i going to do i'm going to do this so what it's going to do we're going to change the delivery to in progress so we go ahead here select because we're under opportunity we will go ahead and we'll type 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 of the opportunity right and what it will do is basically the type of opportunity and then once we click on the right hand side to assign it it gives us our you know pick values right and we will click on um, oh sorry not type installation that's what we want to change we want to change the installation right installation click again pick list value and we want it in progress so if we go ahead and we finish click done now we'll just connect it and basically what's happening is it's firing based on record change update getting the record ID 
right this particular one record id and based on that record id we're doing a change to that record id let's go ahead and save we can go ahead and do a debug click on debug update create it doesn't matter because we're doing both pick a record id any record id and let's click run um it says not triggered let's have a look why <clears throat> well that we could have actually looked through there so um let's do run not triggered expand let's say why is it did not meet the conditions okay so did not meet the conditions that's why it wasn't triggered so what are the conditions the condition is um it has to be new customer right it has to be changed or it has to be updated to new customer so if we click uh debug conditions are met um updated right and let's scroll down and we will find type 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 can't seem to find type wow created create delivery stage id number opportunity type okay <laughs> opportunity type okay so new customer that's what our type is okay new customer uh, last option one uh, so what will happen is because it's new customer and we're doing an update right to this record uh, it should already change the delivery installation status to uh, in progress so we'll leave that as it is and we'll click run there we go now it's completed so this is a great way to see what's really going on so now if we click debug we'll go ahead and we'll see that okay what's what's happened okay so we got our id id is right there what's going on this is all the information that's pretty much happening would not want to confuse you but um what it would be doing is it would go ahead it'll check you know whether you know that specific uh criteria is met you know the type is connected and then we'll uh it'll run uh, this is going to be reverted because you know uh, this is just for debugging so now let's test it out on a live thing so we go ahead and we would activate this flow so once we click activate it's activated let's go into our you know scenario obviously when it was changed that's what we said so if we leave it as it is let's assume we leave it as it is right um, and we change something else even if we leave it as it is we change something else let's say we put what you know click that as web we'll notice that because the criteria was met right new customer our delivery installation has been changed to in progress same thing goes if we go ahead and we create a new opportunity so if we create a new opportunity we'll go ahead and just put whatever right now um, just put whatever just just to fill it in and type is going to be new customer and let's you know let's assume we leave our delivery installation as blank but we're going to go ahead and we're going to see that so we'll uh put whatever for opportunity name save and we've gone ahead and we've saved it so this is our details we'll click there and we see that our flow was fired again uh, hopefully you kind of get a good understanding of how these you know this works especially the get part the get records part um that way once you kind of understand these two processes we'll go a little bit more in details with the you know the different logics that we have as well in a different video if you have any questions feel free just reach out to me at the you know at the comments below uh, until next time cheers